Hello and welcome back to Society's channel! Today is another fine day for us to sit back and learn about new learning strategy that will help us elevate and put our day-to-day -day Araling Panlipunan classes on another level. This is Teacher Charmaine and today, we will learn about the Coop Coop Learning Strategy. Coop Coop is another type of cooperative learning developed by Dr. Spencer Kagan. Dr. Spencer Kagan is world-renowned author and keynote speaker in the field of education and psychology. His research has focused more on harmonious classrooms, promoting responsible behavior, improving students' social skills, character qualities, and academic achievement. What is the Coop Coop Learning Strategy? Coop Coop is a cooperative learning strategy wherein the team will choose their own topic and break them up into subtopics. The teacher can also assign topics to each team to make it easier for them to mobilize their group members. Each member is responsible to learn, know, share, and teach their own assigned subtopics to the class. This strategy comprises of four steps. First, the selection of team topics. This is the process wherein the members will choose a topic from the given option. Second, the division of team topic. In this step, the members are to break up the topic into subtopics or mini lessons and assign it to the members of the group. Third, the teaching and sharing process. This is the time wherein the students will share their ideas about the subtopics assigned to them. And lastly, the team output presentation. This is the culminating phase wherein the team members present their own outputs. To be able to understand and dig deeper about the Coop Coop learning strategy, let us integrate the steps of this strategy to a lesson in Araling Panlipunan Grade 9, which is the different economic system. Ang atin paksa ngayon ay uko sa iba't ibang sistemang pang-ekonomiya at pagkatapos ng talakayang ito inaasahang mabibigyang kahulugan ng iba't ibang sistemang pang-ekonomiya at maalala ang mga salik nito. Pangalawa, nabibigyang halaga ang iba't ibang sistema tungo sa maiging pagkakaintindi sa daloy ng ekonomiya ng iba't ibang bansa at panghuli na ilalathala ang iba't ibang uri ng sistemang pang-ekonomiya sa pamamagitan ng isang edit tutorial cartooning at writing entry. Dadaloy ang ating talakayan sa araw na ito ayon sa mga nakatalagang layunin na dapat makamit para sa paksang ito. Ang panimulang gagawin ng guro ay ang pagpapakilala sa mga mag-aaral kung ano nga ba ang paksa. Kaya sa pamamagitan ng isang video, ito ipapakilala ng guro. Pagkatapos ay pupunta na kaagad sa unang hakbang sa Coop Coop Learning Strategy. Para sa hakbang na ito, kinakailangan na bigyan ng guro ang bawat grupo ng kanilang paksa na kabilang sa mga uri ng sistemang pang-ekonomiya. Hahatiin ng guro ang buong klase sa apat na pangkat at bibigyan sila ng kanilang paksang pag-uusapan sa bagyuhang utak at ang paksang kanilang tatalakayin at ilalahad para sa kanilang final output. Ang mga mag-aaral ay inaasahang makagawa ng isang editorial cartooning at writing entry na dapat nilang malathala sa mga social networking sites kagaya ng Facebook, Twitter at Instagram. Pagkatapos magkaroon ng pangkat at paksa, ang susunod na hakbang ay ang Division of Team Topic. Sa puntong ito, kinakailangan na mag-atas sa bawat miyembro ng grupo ng kanilang subtopics na dapat linangin at ibahagi. Ang miyembro ng bawat pangkat ay maghahati sa mga subtopics sa ibaba at inaasahang mailahad at maipaliwanag ang mga sumusunod na katangian ng isang sistemang pang -ikonomiya. Para sa hakbang na teaching and sharing, inaasahan na ang mga mag-aaral ay magbagyo ang utak at maglahad ng kanilang mga nakalap na impormasyon ukol sa nakaatas sa sistemang pang sa kanilang pangkat. Ang mga mag-aaral ay isa-isang magbahagi ng kanilang mga ideya at ang panghuli ay para sa team output presentation. Ang mga mag-aaral ay inaasahang mailathala ang larawan ng kanilang editorial cartooning at writing entries sa iba't ibang social networking sites kagaya ng Facebook, Twitter at Instagram. 
ang mga mag-aaral ay bibigyan ng marka sa pamamagitan ng isang rubric. So how was it? Learning how to conduct classes using the Coop Coop Learning Strategy. It was fun, right? Not only it will elevate our classes in Araling Palipunan, but it also promotes independent learning as students assume responsibilities to their own learning and knowledge about the topic. On the other hand, this strategy will also help the students improve their social skills as they will engage with their classmates in the brainstorming. And not only that, it promotes the essence of teamwork and camaraderie, putting emphasis on the importance of each member's cooperation to the success of the team's output. To be able to know more about different strategies and more content related to social studies, kindly hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This has been your teacher Charmaine. Thank you for watching.